hello friends welcome to today's session yesterday we have seen about the syllabus of this particular paper solid state physics and today uh, we will start the actual syllabus uh, unit by unit so once again we will see what ex actually means this paper's title meaning is that so what is solid state physics the first question you should come in your mind whenever you look at a, this particular title solid state physics so as you can see on the screen it is a branch of physics deals with the physical properties of solids particularly crystals including the behavior of electrons in these solids so that means what this is this branch not only deals with the solids behavior yes but it talks about the internal structure also what how the electron is behaving into that particular solid so therefore we have to cover everything how the solid looks like first of all it's a behavior then internal structure then particularly crystals yes yeah, the one word is in this definition is particularly crystals so basically you know, yesterday i told you there are two categories uh, in these solid materials so crystalline material and amorphous material so this solid state physics basically interested or talks about the crystals not about the amorphous particularly crystals and including the behavior of electrons in these solids now we'll see as per our syllabus what is the first unit that is crystal structure the first unit is what crystal structure and what are the different concepts we have to learn in this particular crystal structure unit we have again written in this particular first slide so firstly we'll see about the introduction then crystal lattices and translational vector then unit cell basis symmetry operations point groups and space groups then types of lattices then simple crystal structure that is hcp that means hexagonal close pack then fcc that is face centered cubic bcc body centered cubic and sc that is simple cubic next we have to see the structure of diamond and nacl these are the two specific crystals we will look into forward that is what what are what is exactly the diamond structure and how is the exactly the structure of nacl sodium chloride okay now yes now we'll start this particular unit crystal structure and firstly what is that the introductory part introduction means what we are here the solids maintains a definite volume and shape depends on the arrangement of atoms that means what if we have to define a solid then how to define the solid so something or the solids are the materials which have the or they are maintaining the specific volume and shape yes they have the particular shape and they have maintained some volume also right so that are what we called the solids and again they have they are depends upon that means depends upon the arrangement of atoms there are different types of solids so if we talk about the liquid so liquid do not have any specific shape or volume that means if we take a simple example water if you pour water into a cylindrical or hollow cylinder yes it will take the shape of hollow cylinder if we take it in a conical flask then it will take the shape of conical flask that means what liquids do not have any specific shape or size or they do not maintain a specific volume same is true for the gases but what for our solids or solids maintains a definite volume and shape yes this is what the simple definition we can talk about the solid and yes again the solids depends upon the arrangement of atoms how the atoms are arranged within the solid that decides the category of that particular solid that we will see going forward next now see first of all the crystal lattices basis and translational vectors so these three articles uh, the one heading i have written crystal lattices basis and translation vectors so one by one we will see so first thing is what you can see on the diagram uh, we will uh, you are seeing uh, the frame like structure yes uh, this is what familiar to you that is uh, honeycomb yes this is also familiar to might be uh, to some people who are drawing the rangoli and like this this is also familiar yes uh, somewhere in uh, your decoration part or somewhere in the hotels we are seeing now this type of designs okay or uh, uh, bamboo yes bamboo frame will be like this for different kinds of decorations and all so these all three diagrams are actually the lattice okay so what actually the lattice how to define a lattice lattice is an infinite array of points with identical surrounding 
okay so what what i am saying lattice is infinite array array means what it is infinite array that means what the we cannot break this we cannot say yes this is up to only from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 5 okay it is an infinite array and that array how how is the particular character of this array this array or every point in the array have the have the surrounding which is exactly identical identical surrounding that means now if i talk about any point within between this particular thing what here this point is having the same other points but those all points are at an equal distance from each other that is what we could say the identical surrounding identical surrounding if i look about this point now you might have the question sir this last point does not have the identical surrounding yes you are true in this case it does not have the identical surrounding but the first word you can look at this infinite so i have drawn only what one two three four right they again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 4 by 7 diagram but not necessarily it is an infinite array that's why yes every point is having the identical surrounding here due to the restriction of the slide due to the restriction of the space we have drawn only 4 by 7 diagram but not necessary always this is a 4 by 7 it is an infinite array and that's why we can say every point is having identical surrounding same is true for this every point now if i am talking about this uh, white color uh, hollow space so this particular space is having identical surrounding now if i talk about the corner yes obviously here again we have another points but due to the lack of space we have drawn only uh, this much is what the diagram the same is true here now this is also a best example of natural array or natural lattice yes now see every point is having the identical surrounding every point is having the identical surrounding now we can say this as a 2d yes here we have written something that is 2d this is 3d and this is also 3d so 2d means what here yes we have only the points when we talk about the two dimensional means x and y direction that is what the two dimensional diagram when i draw the diagram on the board that is what two dimensional diagram but now see this we can see all the three coordinates x y z and that is what the three dimensional diagram so this is what the lattice so simply a lattice is an infinite array of points which are having identical surrounding simple which are having identical surrounding not necessarily these three examples are the only the examples of the lattices you can have any frame any frame what is what should be the condition yes any frame and it must have some points and those points must have the identical surrounding that is what the lattice yes so you can draw anything you can make any frame uh, iron frame in which we have several points and that points are simply identical yes you can take the frame of our window also a frame of a grill of our window that is also what we can say it is an lattice array of points having identical surrounding and next line here we can see that is what the basis is a group of atom so here crystal lattices and basis so what is basis when we say the lattice is a lattice is an array of points with identical surrounding on the other hand basis basis is simply the group of atoms basis is a group of atoms so atoms may be of same type or atoms may be of different types not necessarily atoms are should be same type means combined atoms can be there means some atoms of Na some atoms of chlorine that means some atoms of chlorine and some atoms of sodium so that forms the sodium chloride structure when we talk about simply the sodium crystal then yes they have the identical atoms or we can say the atoms of same type but in some crystals the basis can be of different atoms so simply lattice is a lattice is a frame like structure or in the definition that is is an infinite array with the identical surrounding and base is a group of atoms now when we say the group of atoms so atoms can be different or atoms can be same that's what the thing right now next we will see what is crystal now what we have seen lattice and basis now the next point is how to define a crystal what is crystal then when we say the lattice now we can look into the diagram only mathematically mathematically crystal can be defined as lattice plus basis mathematically crystal structure can be defined as crystal structure is equal to lattice plus basis or basis plus lattice doesn't matter now here you can see this is what we have the lattice yes now here it is 3 by 3 lattice 3 by 3 lattice means only 3 points in horizontal direction 3 points in vertical direction or 2 dimensional moreover it is how much 
how it is two dimensional lattice so two dimensional lattice three by three lattice now so and each and every point is having identical surrounding they have the spacing again the equal spacing this spacing is equal this spacing is equal so that is what we call the lattice if one of the atom or oh, sorry here if one of the point is missing then that that will not be the lattice are you getting that means each and every point in the lattice must have the same surrounding identical surrounding if i remove the central point if i remove this central point it will be no more longer a lattice it will be no more longer a lattice it may be lattice of different types okay or there are some uh, what we can say uh, deficiencies in the crystal structure so that goes to that uh, category but here remember if we have something irregularity in this particular array then that will be not a lattice now this is a lattice which contains some atoms sorry some points which are having identical surrounding and this particular thing is what the basis so what is basis yes it is a group of atom yes we have seen that there are two types or two atoms so this is a group of atom and these atoms when combined with the lattice that means if i substitute these atoms at every point in the lattice at every point in the lattice and now the combined structure becomes like this okay now the lattice point vanishes vanishes means at every lattice point we have substituted one atom and that's why that combined structure is called as crystal structure now this forms a crystal now see here we are at every point of this lattice we have one atom substituted and that atoms and this particular crystal or lattice the group of atom basis and the our whatever whatever uh, this our lattice forms forms the crystal structure and this is what the crystal structure so mathematically we can say crystal is equal to simply lattice plus basis yes whatever we have written here is uh, crystals are composed of the periodic array of atoms the structure of all the crystals can be described in terms of lattice with a group of atoms attached to each lattice point called basis yes how the definition is each lattice point is covered or each lattice point is substituted with one particular atom and that atom is taken from some group and that group what we call that group is basis okay so this is what crystal structure now next what we have to see according to our title see once again what is title crystal lattices basis and translational vector so we have seen first of all lattice these are the lattices three different examples of lattices 2d as well as 3d then basis is simply the group of atoms then then what we have seen is how to form a crystal structure by using lattice and basis next what we have to see is the translation vector translation vector so these were now onwards whatever we will see that is about translation vector so what are translation vector basically now when we say about the three dimensional or two dimensional crystal now we form the crystal structure now don't worry about the lattice and basis so when we have some crystal or some lattice also if we are talking about the only lattice because the translational vectors are true for the lattice only but that is that translational vectors are exactly similar to the translational vectors from the crystal structure because after all lattice lattice only decides how the crystal will form yes because group of atom can be anything who is deciding how will be the structure of the crystal it is only lattice so lattices may, uh, the, or the translational vector we can say for the lattice and it means that those translational vectors are true for the crystal structure okay now the translational vector means we if we talk about the two dimensional so if i want to displace one one of the atom or if i want to measure the distance between two atoms then along one direction x direction and along y direction other direction so we must have some measuring tools we must have some measuring tools if we talk about the three dimensional if we talk about now see two dimensional if i want to specify the position of this art particular point central point so from any of the origin i want i must know this is the this, this distance as well as this distance right along x axis along y axis and if we talk about the three dimensional then yes you know we must have the three coordinates x y and z coordinates so simply the lattice now see here the lattice and the lat and the lattice translational vectors now the translational vectors are denoted by a1 comma a2 and a3 are 
primitive if any two points satisfies now what is that primitive Here let us see first of all this equation if any two points satisfies means r dash is equal to r is equal to u1 a1 plus u2 a2 plus u3 a3 what are those u1 u2 u3 these are integers any integers okay and what is that r dash and r now see initially i am in the lattice and i was at the position r i was at the position r now something happens and and something happens that means what happens by means of some integer numbers these a1 right a2 and a3 these are the translational vector that means we have translated this lattice by this much amount by this much amount u1 a1 plus u2 a2 and u3 a3 u1 u2 are the integers a1 a2 a3 are the lattice or translational vectors now if we change at r we are initially in the structure crystal structure at point r and we have changes the or we have translated that particular crystal by this much amount now after translation after translation the new point the new position r dash must be equal to r plus that change that change and how is how was the change how much was the change u1 a1 plus u2 a2 plus u3 a3 are you getting so if this equation satisfies then that lattice is known as primitive lattice that lattice is known as primitive lattice and those translational vectors are also known as primitive translational vectors primitive translational vectors now see next line the primitive lattice translational vector specifies the unit cell of smallest volume so why we are interesting in a primitive cell why we are interested in a primitive cell because primitive cell it is simply a unit cell unit cell we will see later on so why primitive cell or why this uh, uh, translational vectors are necessary once you know once you know the primitive translational vectors once you know the primitive translational vectors by forming them by combining them we can find a primitive unit cell and why we are interested in a primitive unit cell because primitive unit cell is the minimum volume unit cell primitive unit cell is a minimum volume unit cell so once you got a minimum volume unit cell then you can find the volume for any Uh, bigger crystal you can find some properties of any bigger if you know the, the volume then we can find the density yes so we are interested in a minimum volume cell that means if i have this bigger crystal now let us consider i have this bigger crystal and i want to find its volume i want to find the spacing between any two neighboring atoms i want to find its density so i if i am unable to find for the whole what i will do i will go to i will make it smaller and smaller and smaller and i will go to the smallest part of this crystal yes or no if we go to the smallest part of this crystal and you are able to find some calculations regarding that smallest part so those calculations are true for this crystal are you getting so for that purpose we are interested in the smallest volume unit cell right and how to get that smallest volume unit cell by using our primitive translational vectors once you got the primitive translational vector and how to check whether they are primitive or not so this equation r dash is equal to r is equal to r plus u1 a1 plus u2 a2 plus u3 a3 so mathematically this is the equation but what i am saying simply if we change the uh, uh, translationally then the change plus previous position must be equal to new position that is if this satisfies then that particular thing is called as primitive translational vectors a1 a2 a3 are known as primitive translational vectors and those three vectors forms one cell unit cell and that is what our primitive unit cell okay now next is what a lattice translational operator is defined as a displacement of a crystal with a crystal translational operator lattice translational operator now whatever we have written here r plus this u1 a1 plus u2 a2 plus u3 a3 it is known as lattice translational operator or simply crystal translation operator yes after all the lattice only decides the nature of crystal that's why or whatever may be the position and all these things that will be decided by lattice that's why we can say the crystal translation vector right a1 a2 are the vectors but this particular combined thing multiplied by the integers multiplied by the integers it is known as lattice translation operator lattice translation operator okay t it is denoted by t that means we can write this simple uh, this equation once again in a simple language r dash must be equal to r plus t r dash must be equal to r plus 
t r dash equal to r plus t so that means what that t is what the change t is change r was original position and r dash was the new position after the translation are you getting now what i am saying that r dash must be equal to r plus t t is the change and how that change by how much amount so it is related to your lattice translational vectors a1 a2 a3 where u1 u2 u3 are only the integers okay so that is what we define lattice or crystal translation operator t is equal to u1 a1 plus u2 a2 plus u3 a3 now finally to describe a crystal it is necessary to specify three things okay first one is what is the lattice first thing how is the nature of lattice what is lattice that is first thing you must have clear in your mind to describe any crystal next what are the lattice translational vectors yes what are the vectors a1 a2 a3 and what is the basis why we are interested in this lattice crystal uh, lattice uh, basis and translational vector that is what our first title so why because these three things are must to understand any crystal these three things are must to understand any crystal once you know the lattice yes i got this yes this is a three by three lattice and yes this is what the spacing between two lattice points and yes all the points are identically surrounded yeah okay that is what the nature of your lattice then next one you must know the translational vector that means after how much distance i change the lattice it will remain constant yes it will remain same this equation tells us that only that means this t is a change if we change that particular lattice by these amount of translational vectors that means we must know the translational vectors and finally what is basis yes because if we have a lattice if you know the uh, translational vectors but if you don't have basis then that lattice is of no use because of no use means if you want to find or if you want to create the crystal lattice and translational vectors are not sufficient one more thing is necessary and that is what your basis yes now let us consider these are what this is a lattice let us consider this is a lattice this is lattice i said one two three four point let us consider this is a one dimensional lattice yes actually practically it is not possible but for our understanding we can say this is a one dimensional lattice 1 2 3 4 5 let us consider these all five points are in one line and again i know the translational vectors distance between them a1 a2 a3 and if i oh, now this is one dimensional that means only a i know the a and finally i have one group of atom so that group of atom i will take one one atom from that group of atom i will put at point first yes put at point two three four five and now this combined structure is called as crystal are you getting that's why these three things are necessary to describe any crystal okay now lastly what we will see a basis of atom is attached to the lattice point they have given or we have given again the basis definition a basis of atom is attached to the lattice point and each atom is basis is specified by again the how to specify the atom which is present in the basis that we have written here again we have one another equation but that basis atoms are also placed on the positions of crystal that's why they are satisfying these this equation already which is specified by the lattice translational vector a1 a2 a3 here xj xy and xj zj okay these are only the different notations uh, as we have written here already in previous slide that is what u1 u2 e3 are the integers similarly here for the basis that is for the lattice this is for the basis and obviously though x y z must lies between 0 to 1 this is what the condition x y z must lie between 0 to 1 so the basis consists of one or several atoms this line already i told you not necessarily a basis must contains the atoms of similar type yes the atoms can be combination of two or three or more atoms or atoms can be of single type the basis consists of one or several atoms okay now unit cell finally we will define unit cell already we i told you what is unit cell unit cell is what the smallest volume cell minimum volume cell moreover that is what with a primitive unit cell that we call primitive unit cell but now comes to the main definition of unit cell unit cell is the smallest repetitive volume which contains the complete lattice pattern 
of a crystal i have given you the example of this particular duster if it is the complete crystal if it is a whole crystal and i made it's a sort of smaller 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 part and each part is having identical dimensions similar dimensions and i have taken one particular part that part is called as unit cell now let us how to define that unit cell now see i want to build this crystal again so how to build this crystal again join all these smaller parts right i have initially made this particular smaller smaller parts and i have let us consider 100 smaller smaller cubes of this particular duster so one cube is known as unit cell let us consider the cubical shape not necessarily always it is cubical okay depends upon the size we will have the different types of crystals we will see later on but let us consider the all cubes are there 100 cubes and that one cube i am calling it as unit cell so that unit cell is having all the characteristics of this crystal yes because it is it is made up from this crystal only actually how to define crystal or how to define a unit cell unit cell is the smallest repetitive volume which contains all or the complete lattice pattern this lattice pattern must be present in that particular smaller volume unit cell and that is what we call unit cell and if i repeat that unit cell now let us consider this is a smaller cube so i repeat this unit cell after equal interval of time what forms this forms a crystal or this forms a lattice okay so that thing is called as unit cell so once once again we will see what is unit cell smallest repetitive volume which contains the complete lattice pattern of a crystal repetitive means what yes we have to repeat it now let us consider i have a smallest unit cell and i want to build a lattice i want to build a crystal so how to do yes keep once again here 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 that means repetitively i if i arrange all these smaller 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 unit cells then finally it forms a crystal structure that's why it is called repetitive volume repetitive volume okay now here diagrammatically we have shown one particular unit cell so more or it is a cubic unit cell yes and the next first of all we will see here this distance uh, along x axis we have shown by a along y axis we have shown by b and along z axis we have shown by c okay so this a b c are known as lattice parameters what are those a b c now these a b c and this a1 a2 a3 are not same these a b c are known as lattice parameters means along x axis yes we have defined it by denoted by a along y axis we have denoted by b and along z axis we have denoted by c so these a b c are known as lattice parameters again yes we have some specific angle we can see the angle between angle between z and y angle between y and z it is alpha yes angle between x and y it is gamma angle between x and z that is beta so these all right not only the a b c but a b c alpha yes alpha beta gamma a b c all these six are known as lattice parameters these are the lattice parameters and those lattice parameters are very very important whenever you have to define any lattice whenever you have to define or whenever you have to check the properties of any crystal or lattice and or if you have to talk about a unit cell uh, you must know about these six parameters lattice parameters abc alpha beta gamma abc are what abc are the distances along x y and z axis while alpha beta gamma are the corresponding angles between them that means along a b along b c along c a yes angle between them now one more definition is written there that is the primitive cell is a parallelopipede specified by the primitive translation vectors already we have seen why we are interested in the primitive translational vectors primitive translational vector how to get this r dash is equal to r plus t that t is the change and if this equation satisfies then that particular a1 a2 a3 are known as primitive translational vectors and those translational vectors decides whether the unit cell is primitive or not if a1 a2 a3 are primitive then the unit cell described by or designed by using that a1 a2 a3 it is also primitive 
so what primitive cell gives you or why the primitive cell is such an important thing because it is the minimum volume unit cell there is one lattice point per unit cell in the primitive unit cell okay so why this particular primitive volume uh, primitive unit cell is important primitive unit cell is the minimum volume cell in that particular crystal that means we cannot go below that yes if i made the smaller 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 part of any crystal and i have designed one smallest unit cell using primitive translation vector then that unit cell is called as primitive unit cell and that primitive unit cell is the smallest volume unit cell within that crystal it is not possible to have any other unit cell with volume less than a primitive unit cell that is why we call it as minimum volume cell or in other words we can say primitive unit cell have one lattice point per unit cell one lattice point per unit cell that means what if we talk about the primitive unit cell the minimum lattice point present in the primitive unit cell uh, is only one that is that must be the condition so this is what about the unit cell and primitive unit cell so this is just for an example not necessarily always we will have such a structure because we have different types of uh, crystals like this is for the cubic crystal structure but we have uh, hexagonal and tetragonal and different so different crystal structures have different dimensions of the unit cell this is uh, just an example take it as example to understood a b c and alpha beta gamma now remember this alpha beta gamma is not specified are not specified randomly now do not consider that yes angle between anything is, uh, uh, any axis is alpha angle between any two axis is beta and angle between any remaining two axis is gamma it is not like that always angle between x and y is always gamma angle between y and z is always alpha and angle between x and z is always beta that you have to keep in mind right and this distance along the x axis is only a distance along y axis is only b and distance along z axis is only c so these are the specific notations to understand and these notations are true for all different types of lattices or different types of crystals they do not changes they do not changes in the sense the notations and their meaning does not changes but the whatever may be their values might have different values for different crystal structures okay so today we will stop here only so once again we will see uh, within one or two minutes what we have seen in today's class so yes this was what our first unit and here three points we have considered uh, all or uh, four points this introduction we have seen crystal lattices and translation of vectors then we have seen unit cell and yes already basis we have seen basis means simply the group of atoms and how these bases are forming the crystal structure by using lattices that what we have seen so yes once again we will see these slides look at this this is about the basis this is basis this is lattice and it forms crystals we have seen this this is what uh, to check whether the translational vectors are primitive or not why primitive or not is important condition because we must have the primitive unit cell right and this primitive unit cell is what minimum volume unit cell so this is what the end of today's class and remaining things we will see in the next class thank you and please if you have any doubts if you have any problem regarding my voice or anything the clarity in the screen and everything you can please post in the comment box any problem any difficulty any queries please post in the comment box thank you